so again, hello everybody. Um, I'm pleased that you want to spend some half an hour with me uh, this afternoon. Um, I decided to uh, give a, a short online talk on robotic assisted right hand colectomy with complete mesocolic excision using the critical view concept and open book model that was developed by our working group. Uh, the reason I was uh, deciding to do this was because um, uh, we're quite uh, badly struck by COVID, so I'm not able to uh, travel much at the moment. And um, uh, the other thing is that robotic um, surgery is uh, really on the rise at the moment, and so it's, uh, I think, quite important to share uh, the information. So um, I want to go uh, through, uh, through my slides. I think I will need about um, 20, uh, 20 minutes to do that, and um, thereafter I'm really happy to um, get your questions. So the extent of uh, uh, CME resection is um, shown on this uh, slide. And uh, this was already uh, long ago, or 2009, described by Hohenberger. Uh, the whole um, uh, mesocolon should be excised for that kind of tumor uh, just um, down to the mesenteric uh, vessels. Uh, taking all the lymphatic tissue on block of the mesenteric root up to the pancreas, uh, they're uh, dividing the right branch of the middle colic artery, uh, dividing the superior uh, right colic vein, and then removing the whole thing uh, on block. Um, if you have a bit a closer look on the central aspect of um, the lymphadenectomy. You will, um, it's about like this, the, the uh, anterior surface of the uh, SMV is uh, uh, cleaned and we also try to remove the uh, D3 lymph nodes along the, the middle colic artery, however, leaving the left, uh, the left branch. Now, uh, in order to do this, um, you really have to get close to the to quite delicate structures. And uh, therefore, or oh, this is the reason why uh, CME uh, has had to be, or is a complex operation and inherently uh, there are some uh, possible complications associated with it. So uh, we decided in 2016 to uh, set up a program which um, was intended uh, or intended for a safe uh, implementation of, at that time, laparoscopic right hemi colectomy with uh, CME. And we developed the um, uh, concept uh, consisting of two um, important aspects, which is the critical view concept, which makes a step-by-step um, -step approach which, in which each step is concluded by a critical view of safety, just like it's known from uh, laparoscopic cholecystectomy. And the other thing is that these critical views or these steps are based on the open book model, which um, this is the, our working group at that time in uh, Kiel 2016. This is the uh, open uh, book model in which the operation side is imagined like a small booklet um, of in, in which each page of the booklet uh, is represented by a meso, in this case the uh, iliocolic meso, the transverse, uh, the, uh, transverse meso colon and the gastric uh, meso. And this book, booklet um, is uh, holds together uh, on the back on an axis along uh, the pancreas. And the, the operation which is based on this uh, book or in, on this model is that before you divide the, the vessels within each page of the book, you have to dissect it from both sides. So if you want to put it this way, you have to open the book 
because uh, before you approach the vessels and before uh, you divide them. And it's um, getting a bit uh, clearer if you remove, uh, if you remove the uh, transverse mesocolon uh, and then you have a look on the mesogastric structures and it becomes clear that the uh, gastroepiploic or the uh, dorsal mesogastric um, structures like the gastroepiploic artery, vein and the uh, mesogastric fat pad uh, remains in situ. Also, the, uh, uh, the gastrocolic trunk of Hindler and the uh, pancreatic veins remain uh, in place. Now, which is the, um, uh, which are the steps? Um, the, the first step is, um, uh, is the uncinate first approach. That means the patient is uh, put in uh, head down and tilted to the right position the uh, small bowel is um, pushed up in the right upper quadrant and the, uh, the fourth part of the duodenum uh, is exposed. What you're heading for is the critical U1, which is, uh, uh, which is the third part of the duodenum with the dissected uh, uncinate uh, process. And uh, doing this, you dissect all the way uh, uh, in a medial to lateral fashion underneath the mesenteric root right up to the, uh, to the uh, hepatic flexure and down to the cecum, whereas an, and all the peritoneal uh, adhesions are taken down uh, from this position. Now what we also do uh, is a retrofacial dissection. Uh, what does this mean? This means that we start the dissection behind the duodenum, as I said, on a medial, in a medial to lateral fashion, uh, and this mobilizes the uh, right, uh, hip, uh, right hemicolon just like an open surgery. So this means that Tolt's fascia remains intact and sort of connects the duodenum with the mesocolon uh, in the first step. And only in the second step we enter what we call uh, what is called Fridius uh, space, in which then duodenum and uh, tr um, uh, mesocolon are separated, and this space is opened. Portsons positioning, of course, uh, we use a uh, or not of course, but we use a Da Vinci XI. Uh, robot. This is our port position, which is uh, called a suprapubic uh, approach. We enter the abdomen uh, uh, um, uh, via a, a pharyngeal incision. Uh, then we uh, close uh, the alexis port, which is uh, prowled in uh, with the lid, and insert a uh, assist tro uh, trocar assist port. Uh, in it, and then we uh, insert after the pneumoperitoneum is established uh, four ports uh, at the left iliac spine. Uh, we use a, a 12 millimeter uh, port uh, for the stapling for the intracorporeal anastomosis. That's the position also Danilo Mitskovic uh, from St. Mark's in London um, uh, recommends. After the first step, after um, the uh, critical view number one, uh, the Trendonberg right position is changed in a 10 uh, degrees anti Trendonberg and turned to the uh, also 10 degrees um, turn to the left uh, position. So we have to redock the system or we have to use uh, the table motion, which we haven't um, in place at the moment. Now this is the uh, video of the first step. The um, small bowel is in the right upper quadrant and we incise the peritoneum just dorsal to the duodenum. And then we uh, go right to the, uh, to the wall of the duodenum, which is then gradually uh, followed uh, in a medial to lateral fashion. This makes some sort of a cochrane maneuver, maneuver, but this is not extended um, as like in a, uh, a pancreatic resection, of course. 
the uh, the anterior renal fascia is pushed down and uh, now you see the uh, the fascia still connects tulse fascia still connects duodenum and mesocolon and now tulse fascia is incised along the um, the uh, outer rim of the duodenum and Friday's space is slowly uh, opened like you see here the duodenum can then push downwards this is the superior right colic vein pancreatic cadix is exposed and then we reach critical view number one third part of the duodenum the SMB is in here and then we complete the dissection by um, incising the, the medial uh, peritoneum uh, just down to the cecal. Ureter is down here, and this is the uh, gonadal vein. So, um, as I said, uh, now we have to change position, head up, tilted to the left, and um, the critical view number two follows, which is the uh, v-shaped configuration of the ilicolic uh, vessels with the superior mesenteric vessels and then we head for the incision point which is located with, uh, in between the angle uh, of the SMV and the ilicolic. So we're not going uh, directly uh, next to the no, not, not to, uh, to the ilicolic vein in order not to injure the lymphatic tissue uh, along the ilicolix here. That's what you see here. That's the, uh, you see ilicolic vessels, superior mesenteric vein. Uh, the next critical views are the, uh, uh, the central dissection, uh, three, 360 degrees dissection of the ilicolic vein, and then the ilicolic artery. This is the V view, as you can see it here, we incise in the, in the angle in between and uh, just mark our way uh, up on the, on the mesenteric root and we leave the lymphatics uh, of the ilicolic um, vessels intact. Now we enter the uh, dorsal space that we've just created in uh, critical view number one and then we uh, enter this space and use it and insert an instrument for retraction. This can either be done by the uh, by a robotic arm or by the uh, assistant. And then we uh, approach the superior mesenteric vein in, in this way, in a medial, uh, in a sort of lateral to medial uh, fashion. But you see the uh, vessels are here are readily uh, accessible. And um, uh, very often the artery uh, is on the right side of the vein at this um, peripheral um, point. So we just go along um, the two vessels and work our way very slowly and steadily up uh, until we reach the base of the mesocolon. The uh, origin of the, um, of the ilocolic vessels are always much mu much higher than we would expect. Normally, it's on the level of the pancreatic cat. It's not um, as low as we usually think. And then the artery just can be sort of um, rolled or dissected out. That's the uh, ilocolic uh, artery, which is taken first in this case. Uh, I like these uh, metal clips. Uh, because they're not as bulky as the uh, hemolock clips and they're not getting in the way of uh, the dissection. Uh, same thing with the, um, with the uh, vein. And, uh, but you all, if you use these metal clips, you really have to make sure you see the distal end of both sides of the, uh, um, both ends of the clips, uh, that they really um, uh, don't get off uh, afterwards. And then you dissect your, your way uh, further up, but you, you stop um, uh, usually a centimeter or so above the iliocolics.
so you don't push to go uh, further and, and dissect the, the uh, body of the pancreas. And following the, the rule that you have to open the book before you um, tackle the vessels, we now first have to um, open the book between the, the stomach and the mesocolon. That means we have to uh, go through the uh, gastrocolic ligament, first uh, look for uh, or show the uh, dorsal aspect of the stomach, which is critical view number five. And then we uh, further open the gastrocolic ligament in a medial to lateral fashion, heading for the, um, uh, for the uh, hepatic flexure and open and, and divide the hepatic colic ligament. In this way, we, um, we uh, reach the uh, lesser sac sulcus view with a gastric uh, um, page uh, uh, cranially and the mesocolic page caudally. These are the vessels which are in between here. You see the uh, right gastroepiploic vein, the hindle trunk, superior right colic vein, and the right uh, colic vein, and our future di dissection line is um, this way. Now in the video, you see critical view number five after the division of the gastrocolic ligament. And then you further dissect the gastrocolic ligament heading for the hepatic flexure. And you really have to take care not to uh, injure the mesocolon or the, um, uh, the middle colic vessels. These are, here we already cross the duodenum and here divide the um, hepatocolic ligament. Uh, in this area, we already enter the dorsal dissection space from the first step. Now the uh, mesogastric fat pad, the uh, dorsal mesogastrum, is dissected away from the pancreatic head. These are the so-called uh, infra, uh, infrapyloric lymph nodes, but they are uh, uh, not a uh, lymphatic drainage area for cecal cancer, so they don't have to be removed. Um, these are the last adhesions to the duodenum. And this is the sulcus view, as you uh, would see it here, mesogastrium, the gastroploics, pancreatic head, and the uh, colic vessels. Now, the, uh, crit uh, the critical view number um, seven is the right branch of the colic, uh, middle colic artery. So we flip the meso, um, transverse mesocolon uh, cranially and uh, dissect the, uh, the right branch at the base of the mesocolon. This is how the uh, critical view uh, looks. It is defined as the uh, 360 degree dissection of the right branch and showing the left branch at the same time. Um, this is the video. Um, we can see a left branch running uh, here at the base of the mesocolon already. We incise the mesocolon just perpendicular um, to, the, uh, to the SMV and uh, the, uh, this branch is left on the, uh, on the left side and then we dissect, we, we reach the uh, former lesser sac here and then we dissect our way down to the right branch, which is usually a vessel uh, in a, which runs off at a 90 degrees angle right at the base of the mesocolon. And we're, we're safe here because the uh, lesser sac is open and we know we're not running into the pancreas uh, up here. So just take your time and um, get the vessel which is then clipped and uh, dissected. This can also, of course, done with a with a hemolux. But as, as I said, I don't like the sort of bulkiness of uh, the hemolux clips. Uh, small bleeder here, and then after, yeah, 
And then um, the last step of central dissection is the dissection of the hinder trunk. Uh, so we, uh, the strategy here is to stay on the anterior side of the SMV, um, uh, looking for the, for the hinder trunk and also uh, staying anteriorly. And then you can divide all veins running into the hinder trunk from anteriorly. Um, this will be uh, critical view number um, eight, um, SMV here, hinder trunk, and here you'll already see the first vein from anteriorly, which is running into it, that can uh, later be divided. So uh, here the pancreatic cat, hinder trunk is up here. You see here one lymph node I try to um, sort of dissect out. Oh, that's the reason why I do go somewhat dorsal to the uh, to the hinder trunk and uh, all the lymphatic tissue is mobilized and then the last vessel that remains is the superior right colic vein the hinder trunk and the SMV and here you can see the right um, the right branch of the middle colic artery so this is the um, uh, that's what is was that was the final step of the central dissection uh, then we uh, divide the mesocolon up to the um, uh, transverse mesocolon and staple it with a robotic stapler. In this way, usually the there is no uh, there is no impairment of uh, uh, of perfusion. Of course, uh, you can do an an ICG uh, test. Um, we sometimes do that, but I've, I've never said uh, I've never seen a, a perfusion impairment after uh, that sort of dissection, and then it's very important to mark your way to the um, to the ilium because you very easily get too close to the cecum and then you impair the uh, the excision of the lymphatic drainage area there, and also the staple the. Um, The ilium. I've seen one uh, saying that one perfusion defect there, so I had to uh, resect the anastomosis afterwards, but that was not seen in ICG, but with a bare eye. And that's the intracorporeal uh, anastomosis. Um, we start from each corner. I put the first stitch from inside. Then we use this uh, suture as uh, for retraction. And the second suture is placed at the at the other corner, and then we um, suture um, in both directions. The the uh, the sutures cross in the middle, and so a double layer um, uh, double layer suture of the anastomosis results. So this is the, uh, the specimen uh, of the operation. So you, you see the peritoneal window, which is surrounded by a um, um, quite robust um, uh, trunk of um, mesenteral uh, tissue, iliocolix with, uh, with the entire lymphatic drainage area. Uh, there is um, uh, somewhat some uh, a bruise which resulted from extraction not really happy about that but it, it happened uh, and from the dorsal aspect you can see that the uh, fascia, fascia is really really stayed on the specimen protecting it against i think uh, further uh, tumor spillage and it really results in a soft and smooth um, uh, surface area and if you do it this uh, this way you really can see the fascia as you can uh, see it here. So in conclusion, I think that right hemicolectomy with CME using the critical view and open book concept uh, and retrofacial dissection is well suitable for robotic surgery, even after the first, um, after the first procedures, when you know the procedure, uh, it, feels, it feels better like in laparoscopic uh, surgery, at least for me it, it did. Uh, intracorporeal anastomosis is facilitated by the robotic approach 
but before implementation the t a teaching concept is mandatory. As I said, you have to be really familiar with the, uh, with the operation, then the robot is a, is a tool which um, uh, makes, it, makes it easier, but it's not the robot which makes the, the uh, knowledge or the proficiency uh, with the operation. So that's the, uh, the book in which all this is uh, written down. It's in, in German, so uh, I hope we can, we can issue an a, um, English version, uh, but uh, we need some more time for that. So thank you very much. I've, uh, I really appreciate that you spent uh, your valuable time with me this Sunday afternoon. And um, I'll be happy to take your questions from the chat.